Hey everyone, today I'm trying to make the Marble Machine X a little bit better. On the top of the machine we have this recycling loop with the fish there, the marble divider and the divide by four. The divide by four takes the stream of marbles coming in here and divides them equally on four channels. So this marble now sits to the left, so the next marble should push it and sit on the right. It builds up a little queue. And when the pressure becomes too strong, the marble falls down. And then it falls down to the next step, and eventually the marbles fall into the pipe. It's really important that the divide by four divides the marbles equally on these four channels. So you can see that all the marbles are lining up. So if I drop four more marbles, we want to see the marbles line up again. So you can see there's one marble missing there, so the next marble should be in this pipe. So that looks good, right? But does this work over a long period of time? So now I'm going to run a test where I play for maybe 10 minutes and we can monitor the balance of marbles in the channels to see if the divide by four divides them equally. So I'm starting the test here and you can see the four marble rows are completely equal at this moment and we're gonna run this for say 20 minutes or so. So let's speed this up and see how it's going. Right from the start it looks like channels 1 and 2 get a little bit more marbles than 3 and 4. But it's interesting to see that between 1 and 2 the balance is perfect and between 3 and 4 as well. The lower dividers are actually doing a perfect job but the upper divider is prioritizing channel 1 and 2 and here you can see the marbles go all the way into the marble divider. And this is interesting because what happens when this happens is that the divider is actually doing this pretty well. It's not getting stuck. The marbles are choosing track three and four more, as you can see here when we go back to normal speed. So in some ways this design is kind of resilient because it's kind of sorting out this issue itself here by sending more marbles to 3 and 4, but I don't really like it anyway. And here something is happening. The marbles are stuck in the pipe. It's actually not stuck in the divider if you checked it. The marbles got stuck in the pipe. This is bad. So there you can see the marbles are there. The fish there can't offload the marbles. And this is a critical failure that we should never have. You can hear the machine pouring marbles onto the floor. And yeah, I'm running there to shut the machine off. I'm actually getting bombarded by marbles when, <laughs> when turning the electric motor off. So it's hurting not only my pride and my heart, it's also hurting my head getting those <laughs> marbles from the machine. So it took less than 17 minutes for the machine to fail. Noteworthy though, that the fail wasn't actually in the divider. It was actually in the angle of the pipe. The marbles ran too slow and we have this catastrophic fish there fail. We have horrible floor marbles. So, hmm, what to do now? I want to make a little analogy here. So let's pretend that we are going to design a standing wooden stick, okay? So, oh, look at those, they both work. Look at this, wow, that, that really works great. And look at this, okay. We have four designs, they're all doing the same job at the moment. They're all standing, it's a stable, resilient construction. Or is it, maybe something happens, whoop. One down already. And we could see that maybe something else will happen again. These two will both work, right? There we go. <laughs> so when I started this project, I was like happy with this number one, uh, the least stable design. I was like, look, it's working. It's all fine. 
I built 10,000 designs of this and I put it together into a non-functional machine. For several hours, I've been tweaking angles and trying to get this to perform better than what you saw in the test. And I reached a local maximum that got me to this level two stability. I need to make a divide by four that reaches level three at least. And I made one. <laughs> this is the cooking show moment. This is the new divide by four. I made the new design by four in less than half a day. And as you can see, it's using the exact same size. So I can reuse the old part and put it on the exact same place. So the core principle is the same. We split the marbles in two equal halves here and then again here and here. But in each split, I have this rocking flip-flops that goes back and forth. So far so good. That's what we want to see. So if the previous version was level two resilient, I hope that the new version is level three resilient. Good engineering is also about not over engineering. So the level four has to represent making music with a MIDI keyboard and we're trying to make music with a marble machine. So level three is what I want. Come on now, marble machine. I know you can do it. It's easy to make the two lower flip-flops work because the marble speed is not so fast there. It's half the speed compared to the first upper flip-flop. And I made a little design detail trick here. If you can see, there's a little uphill right before the flip-flop. So the marbles are kind of wanting to fall back and they need to be pushed from the back. This reduces the pressure on the first flip-flop and makes the flip-flop more accurate when there's a high load of incoming marbles. It's perfect! Thousand marbles! I'm going to make a stress test. Let's say there's a lot of marbles at the same time. Okay, here we go. It has
has to go fast here now. Looks good. Perfect. No, come on. <laughs> I can't end the video having one marble lying there like this. There we go. <laughs> Divide by four flip-flop is working perfectly. I'm honestly so relieved. It seems like I potentially built something that actually kind of works, <laughs> which is super nice for a change for me. So actually I've made the Marmachine X a little bit better today. So thanks to everyone who are supporting this project through YouTube memberships and Patreon. And thanks to you for watching all the way to the end. See you in the next one.